hello students so we can see one of the uh, projection of saw saw is problem in the unit 3 so here look at the question draw the projection of a pentagonal pyramid i told about the dimension okay this is a pentagon in shape and it is a pyramid so i have to be very clear and next one is of 30 mm base side side edge and axis is 20 mm long so one thing is clear which one is the dimension is clear now okay it is resting on one of its base corner look at here it is resting with what so resting with what the question is very clear the resting with one of the base corner so with what question is also okay in hp where it is resting in hp with its axis inclined so how it is resting i told how it is resting it is axis inclined at 40 degree to hp so these are the basic things you need to ask it before entering into the problem so i will draw it roughly with my question first i will be drawing a xy line like this so this is my xy line i drawn and next i am just asking uh, here it is said it is it is resting with one of the base corner so i need to un, uh, identify whether the corner should come this side or this side because it is a pentagon for a pentagon you have to be very clear uh, for a pentagon always uh, this is pentagon in shape this is pentagon in shape if a corner is here means opposite side will be a edge so we cannot start any uh, diagram with a point so we have to start with a line so that uh, in the engineering template it will be very easy for you right so here if, if you, we are going to select the edge this side means the line has to draw on in this side for a pentagon alone i am saying if a edge has edges this side means we have to select the corner here otherwise if um, this is a way if the edge is this side means the line has to draw on here so look at here how we are going to draw it so i will be fixing uh, the pentagon in shape here i will fix all the points and for the required dimension so i will be fixing the line first first of all i will draw the perpendicular line like this and i will be fix the remaining points now i will draw the pentagon here it is said as a pyramid here i can able to draw the midpoint also center point axis point also so like this i can able to complete now i am just projecting all the points so, so here it is said the axis height is 70 mm so this is the axis line axis height is 70 mm so for here i will draw all the lines so this is the solid here where the corner is the here this is the corner this is the corner okay this corner has to keep at the kept at the bottom at the base itself because it is resting with the corner so it has to touch the word should be very clear how it is resting it is, it is resting with one of its base corner so this corner has to be clear here right already in the plane what we did we will be measuring this length we will be measuring this length and here it is told told the axis is inclined 40 degree the axis is inclined how much the axis is inclined so here there is a small calculation for it suppose in case this is the axis axis is inclined 40 degree here the question is given like this the axis is inclined 40 degree means here we need to draw a perpendicular line for it. this is a base this angle will be 90 degree so now what about this angle this will be normally what 90 minus 40 will be 50 degree so we cannot directly take this 40 degree because there is a practical problem here so we have we cannot directly do it so instead of doing directly just we are just calculating the total angle will be 180 this 90 we can minus remaining is 90 so 90 minus 40 is 50 here so from this line i am just making a 50 degree inclination of line with this length with this length i will be making a 50 degree inclination of line with this dimension so here i can draw a perpendicular line with a sound mm length I can draw the same solid here. Able to understand? I can able to draw. This is 50 degree. In, uh, instead of drawing, this is now here you can measure. This will be 40 degree. Sure. So now you have fulfilled the question. The axis is inclined what? 40 degree. 
Anyhow, this is 50 degree means automatically this will be 40 degree. Now, what we, we did in the planes problem, here also we have to do the same way. We have to project all the lines. Top also we have projected. But in the planes, only the base, the uh, same plane will be projected here, another one line. Now, I am going to draw all the horizontal lines like this. I will be drawing all the horizontal lines. So, here gently we have to mark all the La, la points. So this is the line. So I will be joining all the outer corners, outer points. First, I will be joining with the outer points continuously. Whatever the things, outer points I will be joining it by continuously. Then, just I am examining while from seeing from the top, this is the top side. While seeing from the top, can we able to see the bottom? So, this is by see, seeing by top. This is by seeing a top. Just imagine this as a oil barrel or oil drum. Just imagine while seeing from this side, can you able to see the bottom? No. So, we cannot see the bottom means what we need to do. So, just we can draw. Yeah, an inclined uh, on dotted line like this. So, this is a way of doing it. So, can we able to see this one? We are able to see. This we can draw as the continuous line. So, this is a way of solid. Here you can make the dimensions. Uh, whatever thing is 30 mm. And this is axis height. 70 mm. We can make it like this. So, it is a simple one. The, but the understanding is very, very important. So, we can go to the problem now. So, first I will be drawing the XY line. I will be drawing the XY line. Now, I am going to fix the before that I will be identify the perpendicular lines, I will fixing this point. Here it is given as 30 mm. So, I will be fixing this is the 30 mm line. Now, I will draw for Thirty, 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 and also the midpoint. I just mark all the points here by using the template, it will be very easy. So, since this is a pyramid, so we can join the center point. Otherwise, if it is a prism, there is no need. Prism, we cannot identify the apex. So, here I can give the name. That is, this is A, B, C, D, E and this is O. Now, I will be projecting all the lines like this. So, here 70 mm. So, for 70 mm, I will draw the axis line like this and I will be So, now I can join all the lines. This is for the bottom and here this is the 
axis line. The axis line normally it will be drawn over long line, or short line, or short line, and long line, short line, long line, short line, and a long line, short line, long line. Like this, the axis line has to be drawn. So this is a way of doing it. Now we can, while seeing from this side, while seeing from this front view, this side front view, I can able to see only the uh, a dash. This is a dash, b dash, c dash, d dash will be in bracket. And this is E dash. E dash will be in bra bracket. Only I can able to do it. So this is a way of uh, doing the problem. And now here we can do the next one. I am just keeping this as the point. I am just maintaining uh, this as one point. Here I am just going to make. I already we have already calculated the base will be at what angle? The base will be at 50 degree. So I will just going to mark 50 degree here. So in the rough diagram we have already calculated so it will be very easy for us. So I am just uh, making 50 degree. So I will draw a rough line, a thin line. Here I will make the mark here. So now taking your compass. Look at here how I am going to make. This is the base corner. Base corner because it is resting with one of the base corner. I will make the mark at here, right? This is first one, and next is this is this is another one, and next. So these are the three things. Now we can make the ninety degree here from here. We can make the ninety degree. So this is one. Now the height is what? 70 mm. The height is 70 mm. So for that we need to make it 70 mm from here. This is the axis line. Now we can finish the diagram now. The third diagram. So finding out this is very important. How? So the, this is by understanding only you can able to make it very fast. The same points we are going to make it here. Here, look at here. This is O dash, and this is O one dash. We can make it. This is A one dash, B one dash, C one dash, D one dash within bracket, and E one dash within bracket. Okay. Now I am going to project all the vertical lines here. Look at here for the A. I am just going to make a thin vertical line, and for here I am just going to make like this. I'll be drawing. All the vertical lines. So this is for you, for me easy to identify the lines. Look at here. Here also I am going to make all the horizontal lines. I just made all the horizontal lines. Now we are going to identify the points where the A is. This is A, and this is A, and here this is A. This both the A will be coinciding at here. This is A one. Where the B is, this is B, and this is B. So now B one. Where the C is, this is C, and this is C one. D is again here. D one. Then E one. Again, here this is O1. Now we I am already told. I already told to join all the outer edges. You can gently join all the outer edges here with a continuous line. No need to worry about anything. Gently join all the outer edges. I just join all the outer edges now. Already told while seeing from the top, this side, from the top, I am going to see means I cannot be able to see this bottom. So this line will be dash lines. You can make it this as the dash lines. So this also will be a dash line. That means the hidden edge. But these two edges will be the continuous one. You are able to see the triangle A E O. 
Okay, you are able to see the triangle A E O. So this is the solid final one. So now it look nice. Now you can draw the dimensioning. So this is thirty and this is seventy. So like this way we need to do all the problems. So you have to keep in mind. So this is the way of proceeding the problem. So here the axis is inclined also given. So if you measure this one, this is forty degree. Sure, it is forty degree. So I am just going to measure and check this. This is forty degree now. You can easily see this is forty degree here, right? But we have taken this as fifty degree. Okay, this is a way of proceeding the problem. Thank you.